Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, back once again with another video. So, we are continuing our Cubase series. So, so far we've done laying down a beat, uh, getting together a few kicks in Halion. Now we have Halion up and running. We have a little kick going. We dragged a Rex file into um, Cubase. And now we are going to experiment with effects and compression and stuff. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, if you remember, for those of you who are watching, we made a little beat. Holy poly on the drums there. So I've got my little kick. My snare there. Where's my kick? Right, so I'm going to have to glue this together to see the kick. We can put these on separate tracks just by dragging down if we want to. Uh, but for now, let's just get into this part of it. So we've got the hats. Yeah. And we've got our kicks, which are here. So now at this stage, I'm just going to do a little silly little roll thing. Go like that. Grab it. Uh, you want that on eight, probably would do it. Uh, actually, let's go 16. 16 velocity roll. There we go. Bosh. He goes there. Boom. Lower that down there. There we go. Down all the way there. Now that's supposed to work, but it doesn't. So, buggy keyways. Just going to draw. Draw the whole drum pattern in like that. You want the snare still cracking on there? Lower that down. Turn that up. Nice. Sweet. And now what you can do as well. Bang that in there. Paste us. Right, that's got to be moved over. Alright, so that goes round. So there we go. Right, so a bit of compression in that now. Just keeps it interesting. Go in here. Saturator. Saturation on it. Saturation gives you a bit of distortion. Makes your drums a bit sounding a bit harder. There we go. A bit of saturation on that. Let's try a bit of saturation on the uh, Halion as well. See that brought out of the hats a bit more. Okay, so now we're going to go to the audio fader, equalizer, what we got? edit that, saturation, okay, well, I say put a bit of reverb on that, you know. Okay, so put, let's put a little bit of reverb on that. So to put the reverb on, we're going to make a little reverb track. So you want to add a bus track here. So we've got to add an X, uh, right-click mouse, uh, add effects track, pop that there, call it reverb, V-E-R-B, reverb. Uh, we've got UAD dream verb. We love that. I know T's always talking about that. There we go. UAD dream verb. And we're just going to just put... Ideally, we want to put our snare on that reverb, yeah, we don't want the kick drum on the reverb. It's gonna to sound too cloudy, yeah? So, actually, you know, we, we were supposed to put some, let me go back, get a bit of compression on the beat first. 
so let me go back to Halion. Halion, do. Halion, Halion, Halion. Okay, audio fader. Let's get back in there. Uh, let's go edit. Let's edit Halion. We don't do that. Let's add it, edit here. Yep. Yeah. And uh, let's get our EQ, our compression going. So turn on the compression. And then with a fast beat, obviously, you, you need a fast release. The release is how quick the compression uh, actually comes off. So when you put compression onto the beat, the release time is how quick it takes for the level to go back up to where it left off from. So I've got it fast release, so it's like boom, cat, boom, boom, cat, because you don't want it sort of bringing the beat down slowly and then up, because it's going to take away from the groove. Okay, so that's interesting. And this is really basic stuff, people. So next, we are going to try dragging. Let's see what's happening now. I want to put the snares on a separate output. Now, let's try and see if we can do that in Halion. And yeah, in theory, I should just copy that. Copy. Paste. No, it's just pasted it over. Okay, so fine. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do. I've got it now. All right, so I'm going to go new program. Go browser. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go to that same. I know there's an easy way to do this here, but look, I'm just going to drag that there. Yeah, so that gives me a new one. And then I'm just going to paste program on top of that one. So there you go. So that's on two. So now all I need to do now in theory here is go to add MIDI track and call that snare. Right. Right. And then I'm going to, I should have the same kit again. But the only problem is I don't have the same effects. But I can also layer that with a reverb. It's not the end of the world. Right. And then I can copy. That's Longosis, man. Right, and I'm going to get everything except for that snare and delete it. Wow. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I've done that. I'm going to go to the channel itself. And I should then be able to go to the mixer, uh, go to the top here, and it should be a multiple output. To blows is good. Activate outputs. There you go. So you can select how many outputs you want. For now, you can do two. You can have 32 outputs if you want. I'm just going to do two. Yeah. So as you can see, another output pops up there. Yeah. Now I am going to assign this to another output. So in theory, we should be able to put this on a, an output. You can see here, that's on master. We chuck him on out two. So there's out two. Now for some strange reason, we're not hearing out two. So this is really good, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna, there you go. So all I have to do is just unsolo it. We just sort of weirded out. And here's where you can put some, some effects on it. You can fatten it up a bit. You've got your dynamics. Chuck another compressor on there. You know, fast release time. Put your fresh out, your ratio. Right, so you've got a nice little compression on there. Chuck a quick little reverb. Now, this is not the most convenient way to do it. I'd probably do this in audio another time. So, I'll show you guys how to work the audio. Because do this in audio would be a lot better. But there you go. So, you've got a little reverb there now. And then, one. There you go. And you can control how much reverb you put in from now. Okay, so we have that there.
Okay, people, so that's it so far. We have loaded up um, some bits and pieces. We've used some effects. We've used a, bit, used a bit of compression. We've used a bit of saturation. If you have any questions, please put them down below. If I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If I get to 100 likes, I am going to do another Cubase tutorial. This is Cubase version 10, Busy with Science, checking out. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm a everyday